Hi there, my name is Matt Armando. I've been trying out some different types of videos recently to help expand my range. Uh, sketches and character videos as the bulk of my output, but also my take on recipe videos, some stories from my real life, and this video, this one right here. I conceptualized it as a rant video. Take that for what you will. What it really is, what it ended up being, is an observation I've made about my life. One that I thought was interesting enough to talk about and pull apart a bit, so not really a rant at all. Maybe some ramblings, we'll see. Now, as I just mentioned, my last name is Aromando. That's A-R-O-M-A-N-D-O. Whenever I need to spell it for someone, like a bartender closing my tab, a receptionist looking at my appointment, or less chill when I'm asking someone to look at my YouTube channel. It's not that I get offended when people spell or pronounce it wrong. One time somebody called me Matt Armadillo, and while that's very wrong, I knew they were talking to me. No, it's that everyone gets the first letter, the A, wrong. I know this from a lifetime of telling people my name, and also being alphabetically near the top of attendance lists. Let me take you on a little journey. Without accounting for the distribution of all surnames, I'm in the first 3.8% of last names. An M last name is about 50% through the alphabet, and a Z last name is in the final 3.8% of names. I've just explained that the alphabet goes from A to Z, so please make sure that you leave a like on this video. At any rate, I know my name is near the top of most alphabetized lists, so before I started voluntarily spelling my name for bartenders and they would go to grab my credit card from one of those alphabetized card holders or uh, a row of cards or a stack of cards, I would always see them start near the end of the alphabet and skip right past the beginning. Now, my computer science brain made me stop, made me stop and think, and I was like, well, could this be a type of mental binary search? What is binary search, you may ask cautiously, knowing what that means for your ears and your brain? Well, put as simply as I can, a binary search is when you take a sorted list and you go to the middle of it and you ask, is this the thing I'm looking for? If no, you do a test to see if, if what you're looking for would be, would be higher or lower than that thing that you found and you throw out the other half that your thing isn't in. And you just repeat that until you get to what you're looking for. It's much more effective than scanning through an entire list to find what you want. Could this be what every bartender I've run into is doing? Maybe. Though binary search isn't even the first thought computer science students learn to use to search a list. They would, I don't know, create a loop and look at every thing in the list. It's very inefficient. It's idiots. Anyways, binary search aside, why were so many people skipping past the first part of the alphabet looking for Armando? They're using some kind of shortcut. I mean, instinctually, people will first look where they think something would be. Then I realized people were going to the R's. When I said my name was Aramondo, they thought it was spelled with an R as the first letter. There are no words that begin with that R sound and start with an R. Don't get me wrong, Romando is an amazing name that they're trying to look up, but it's not my name. Artichoke, arson, art, arbitrary, arcane, and even the word R all start with the letter A and then an R, not solely the letter R. The word aardvark wanted to be in the front of the dictionary so badly that it used two A's to get that R sound. I looked up the phonetic spelling for uh, A-R-R, but I haven't found anything specifically looking at the phenomenon of hearing the A-R sound of R and forgetting the A. What I did find I found fascinating, I actually felt a little silly for not knowing about it, and that is uh, roticity in English. Um, roticity, not to be confused with rotisserie, as I learned from Wikipedia, is one of the major distinctions in how different English speakers speak English. In American English, we typically pronounce the R in words like charmed and hard. This is a rotic variety of the language. In a lot of England, Australia, and even some parts of the US, speakers do not pronounce that R. Pronunciations like charmed and hard. This is the non-erotic variety of the language. It reminds me of good old Boston where you would uh, park the car in Harvard Yard or whatever. And that actually is connected to the British colonization of the Americas and how we adapted their speaking of English. America just weaned most of itself um, away from that, to put it uh, simply. As a native New Englander, I really should have known all of this already, 
as a um, as a person who occasionally speaks in a British accent for fun in my free time, I was shocked to learn that there was such a simple rule for pulling off that accent. That led me to think about whether people thought my name started with the letter R out of some latent Britishness. That in England, my name would be pronounced Amando. Alas, the rule doesn't apply when the consonant is followed up by a vowel. Drat. At least I learned about roticity. In the end, I don't have a definitive answer for why people think my last name, Aramando, spelled A-R-O-M-A-N-D-O, begins with the letter R. Everyone knows how to spell army. Though maybe this is why arithmetic is, is one of the three R's.